In this series of videos, we are going to learn how to create a financial projection model. To create a financial projection model, we have to start the spreadsheet workbook from creating the menu. To create a menu, you just have to double click on the sheet name and name it as menu. We have uh, two uh, primary columns over here. One is title, other one is sheet name. I have resized the title column and sheet name column. Now I am going to uh, list the sheet name and create the sheets simultaneously. The first sheet which we are going to create in this financial projection model is revenue streams. In revenue streams sheet uh, we are going to uh, project our um, revenues for this specific financial projection model. The second sheet in this financial projection model is cost of sales or cost of revenue. Cost of sales or cost of revenue is the worksheet which contains the costs which are directly related to generate this revenue. Number third sheet is operating expenses and we will name the uh, sheet as OPEX and then we have the uh, in, in the OPEX sheet we have uh, we will def uh, define the operating expense of this specific final sheet projection model then we have personal sheet in personal sheet we are going to uh, classify define all the personals which which are going to work for this specific project then we have a, a sheet named other income and expenses normally in other income and expenses there are two kinds of income and expenses comes into play one which is not directly related to your business and number two you can also uh, define extraordinary income or expenses in this specific worksheet then taxes taxes is one of the core uh, parts uh, of the financial projection model as this will decide the profit after tax and all these things then we have property and equipment sheet which will primarily uh, define the fixed assets for the firm fixed assets then we have uh, a sheet with the name of uh, depreciation schedule <coughs> in depreciation schedule sheet the property and equipment which we have defined in the fixed assets sheet uh, we define uh, the depreciation schedule for those items. We'll name it fixed assets that will be more understandable. Then we have a worksheet with the name of working capital. And then we have uh, then we have funding sheet in which we are going to define the funding that either it is from equity debt or. Uh, any other source. Uh, finally, we come to the uh, three basic uh, financial statements. The first one is profit and loss. We'll name it P and L. Other one is a balance sheet. We'll name as BS. And then third one is cash flow statement, and we name it CF uh, cash flow uh, CF. Then finally we have two uh, final sheets, one with the name of valuation, valuation and the final sheet is with the name of ratios. We'll add the sheets and name them accordingly like we have the first sheet with the name of revenue, we just double click on this and type revenue on this sheet. We have uh, intentionally put the name small so the formula looks more simpler and then COS and we'll create new sheets and name those sheets as the titles we have given over here. A reference to the workbook you can just right click over here and you can see that we have created all the worksheets with the appropriate names which we have mentioned in the menu option. From the next video, we are going to progress uh, sequentially by creating sheets one by one that will end up to creating a complete financial projection model. Thank you.